Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. Gaurav Padia has spent his entire career in the business world, working up the corporate ladder, and he has always had his sights set on lofty goals. I was really thinking a lot about how would I get onto a corporate board and be a great next step since I'd already worked uh, as a senior executive. I've also done quite a lot of work in nonprofit boards, especially around diversity and inclusion. And uh, I have my sort of lived experience as I got polio at the age of three and then have walked with uh, crutches and leg braces um, since then and also uh, immigrated to Canada at the age of 12 with my parents. And so I had those lived experiences as well as my sort of professional and um, executive sort of skills. And I really thought being on a board would be the next place where I could really make an impact, not only for the companies, but also the communities in which I, you know, I live. Unfortunately, corporate boards have long fallen short of being representative of society and diverse in their voice and experience. This was something that Bim Kochar, founder of Canadian Foundation for Physically Disabled Persons saw as an issue that needed to change, which led him to creating the Seat at the Table initiative, which helps people with disabilities land positions on corporate boards across Canada. And if we can put people with disabilities on corporate boards, it will come dripple through all the way down to, to the staff, putting uh, bus boys or cleaning people at Tim Horton and McDonald really doesn't bring about a change. Change comes from the top, and that's what a seat at the table is all about. A seat at the table works to present companies who are looking to fill board positions with a list of pre-vetted candidates who meet the qualifications, but may be outside of the normal pools that companies look in. Well, the, the corporation normally choose people from old boys network, people that they know, people are in their group. But if they decide to go outside, uh, then they will get much better candidate. Garoff knows that this program, along with shifting philosophies, is leading to more opportunities for people like himself at the board level. I think because of that, there wasn't as much representation by women, by people from the LGBTQ plus communities, people of color, and certainly people with disabilities. Uh, you know, if, if a CEO looked in that kind of circle, they probably wouldn't find, have found me. Uh, fortunately, things are changing. I think boards are trying hard to find a more diverse candidate list, and they're really challenging the recruiters uh, to come up with uh, people who are highly qualified, but also have just, uh, you know, are also people with disabilities or from other equity seeking groups. As a member of the board of Amex Bank of Canada, Garoff can bring his knowledge and experience to his role. Lisa Cowhands, the bank's president and CEO, was thrilled to have him join. He has tremendous actuarial experience, uh, he has uh, great regulatory experience, uh, and he's a seasoned and accomplished business leader. Um, and additionally, he is a diverse individual, um, and we were thrilled to have that type of diversity brought to our board. And when you have diverse uh, board members, it means that you have diverse executives, which means that you have uh, diverse individuals at all levels of the organization. And I just think a seat at the table uh, and all the resources that's providing uh, does a tremendous job of raising the profile of individuals that can be selected. For BIM, making boards reflect that 22% of society living with a disability would be ideal. But he has also set other targets he hopes the program reaches. Right now, we know that there are about uh, seven to eight people on the boards, and that is only about 0.3%. Our objective is to have 1% uh, by the end of this year and have maybe 2% by the end of next year. Garoff hopes those numbers change too and that others join them for a seat at the table. I really hope that more people in Canada, uh, people with disabilities, uh, you know, who may be asking themselves, you know, should they step up, you know, are they qualified? I really would encourage them to, to uh, put their hand up, apply for a, a position at seat at the table, or in their own companies, you know, to reach higher, and they'll have much broader impact, and they'll feel uh, really good about themselves, and they'll really feel uh, that they're reaching their full potential.